doing that will be some of the biggest opportunities that you will ever see in your entire life. Welcome to the era of AI. In this video, I will give you how I personally have conversations with my best friend, ChatGPT, to generate my creative and unique video ideas. This can take me from just getting no idea what video to make to completely unlimited ideas for my channel, and it can do the same for you. This will 100% help you make videos that will earn you more money and subscribers, while saving you a ton of time. And this AI tool is completely free, but not forever. This is exactly what I do when I need new ideas for this channel or other YouTube channels using ChatGPT. There are three things I usually do that I'm going to share in this video. Let me know which of these you like most, or maybe if you have your favorite one, you can leave it in the comment section below. The first that I will do is take inspiration. First, I suggest you go to vidIQ.com and register the top creators in your niche in the competitors tab. With a free ID, you can register up to three creators to your list. You select one from your creators list. I'll choose Joshua Weissman this time cause I make a cooking channel. And then you go down the top videos from that channel. Filter it, this month's time period, and short them by views per hour. By doing so, you will get what videos are trending right now from that channel, and that viewers still watch this video till now. Now I want you to list the top three from the most view per hour in your note, and you can do that exact same thing. So you get nine title lists from three different channels that you registered before. If you have more leverage, I suggest you can subscribe to the vidIQ to get tons of features that can help you analyze and get daily ideas for your channel according to your niche, and you get all of that automatically. I promise you it'll be worth more than that. This is my 9 list title from vidIQ.com that I make, and I'm sure this is still trending right now, and viewers still look for this type of content. After that, I go to ChatGPT and personally, I will talk to it like I'm talking to a friend. Hey, can you help me come up with some new ideas for videos like the ones on this list? And ChatGPT actually responded, sure, I'd be happy to help. Could you please provide me with the list of videos you are referring to so I can better understand what type of ideas you are looking for? So you're going to copy your list, paste it into ChatGPT, and just hit enter. ChatGPT will start generating video ideas for you that are similar to those already working in your niche, but with a unique idea. Like this example, it gave me things like one pan pasta meals. Show viewers how to make delicious and easy pasta dishes using only one pan, including recipes for carbonara, pesto, and marinara. And maybe this one, budget-friendly meal prep. Demonstrate how to make healthy, delicious, and affordable meals for the week, including recipes for soups, stews, and stir fries. I love that one. And for the second thing, I usually do with chat GPT is video scripting. In this section, many people misunderstand how YouTubers out there use ChatGPT as a tool for scripting their videos, and there are many comments on this channel about ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT isn't very engaging. How do I make ChatGPT make scripts better? Prompt what do you use to make the script better with ChatGPT? ChatGPT makes a script like robot. ChatGPT script quality is poor. Not recommended to use ChatGPT. And so on. Now let me show you how I use ChatGPT to create my script from start to finish so that you guys can understand the limits of using ChatGPT in your video script. I will use these three kinds of prompts. At number one, I call it the lazy script. With this prompt, I get ChatGPT to do most of the work for me. Number two, I call it the similar script. This is where I get ChatGPT to make something similar to my competitors' videos. And at number three, the guided script where I use a workflow in ChatGPT to build out my video script and stages. These three prompt variations will give you high-quality scripts to work from and dramatically shave off the editing time required to generate good copy. And we're going to be starting with the lazy option. And yeah, I know the lazy option won't be complete if you need to type it by yourself, right? No worries, I already put it below so you can copy it from there. And inside that lazy option, you can just paste the video title idea here. So I'm going to do everything I just got. I'm going to paste now. So here's what we've got for the lazy option. Write an engaging YouTube video script for the following budget-friendly meal prep. Demonstrate how to make healthy, delicious, and affordable meals for the week, including recipes for soups, stews, and stir fries. I've then used storytelling to bring it together in an engaging way. Start with a question instead of a standard intro. I like to do this because sometimes it says, hi, welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be doing this. It's very standard and boring. So I like to get ChatGPT to try to be a bit more creative and start using stories. But you could just leave it if you're not too worried about the intro and see what it generates. And you can continue by end the script sharply using. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.
I like to end my YouTube video scripts quite quickly because basically that's going to make my watch retention time a little much longer. Suppose you do too many unnecessary things at the end, too much of a long conclusion. People will know it's the end of the video, and they will leave, which will affect your overall retention time. So when you're doing especially faceless videos or videos in general, you want to end it as quickly and sharply as possible while telling people what to do next. Now that we have this, we can copy our lazy prompt and come back across to chat GPT. Then inside chat GPT, we're going to go to new chat. And then I paste my prompt. Okay, and here we have it. We now have our complete script auto-generated the lazy way inside chat GPT. Now, I always recommend checking all of your scripts on Copyscape, but I generally find that if it's been done in chat GPT and it's original, then there aren't really any copyright issues. And if there is, it's literally just the odd word. But I still recommend double checking your scripts to ensure they will be original. But as we can see, we got the hook, a great content script and a great ending script video. Now let's move to the similar script prompt option. The similar script prompt is basically where we will use a competitor's video script and get ChatGPT to work from that. In the latest update of ChatGPT, ChatGPT now can take a certain amount of content, especially if using ChatGPT4 it analyze that content and then create something similar and original. So the next one we have is to rewrite this YouTube video script, making it original and about five minutes long. You can change the time to anything you want and you could have also put the timing in the previous script to make sure ChatGPT was writing a script that long. Let's say over eight minutes if you want to get more ads in there. But I generally like to have shorter videos when I'm building out a new channel. It's easier to create more content, so for this one, we are going to make. Rewrite this YouTube video script, making it original, which is important and about five minutes long. Use storytelling to bring it together in an engaging way. Start with a question instead of a standard intro, creating a hook and building out context before jumping into the main content. End the video script using. With that said, thanks for watching, until next time. As you can see, it's quite similar, but we're telling it to your story and everything else rather than telling it it generated from a title. We're going to be getting it to generate it from a script. Now you can start to copy it, come back to ChatGPT, then paste it here. The last piece is to give ChatGPT transcript from video that we want to recreate. You go to that video, click these three dots here and show the transcript, and then go toggle timestamps, and then you can scroll all the way down. Click copy and give it back to ChatGPT and then just generate it. If in some way it stops in an awkward place, you can type continue and it will continue from where it ended before. The last prompt option I usually use is the guide script prompt. This method is where I build out our script step by step. This is a great way to build out more detail in different sections. Sometimes when you get it to either just copy and make something similar or you go with a lazy approach, often it won't build paragraphs in the detail you want. So it is easier and better to use ChatGPT in an order flow where you are building out the different sections of the script itself. So if we look at this here. Give me an outline for a YouTube video script about. Write me a great hook and introduction for this YouTube video script. Make sure to talk about the following briefly. Continues the script, give me a few paragraphs to discuss the following. Continue the script from the last point and give me a paragraph to discuss the following. Concludes the script from the last point, give me a paragraph mentioning the following. And with that said, Thanks for watching until next time, or whatever it is that you want to end on. For the shake of this video, I won't go into detail about this prompt, but this one is my favorite prompt to use, and I suggest that you use the last prompt also, because these prompts are the ones I'm always using right now and probably for some time in the future because I can make ChatGPT be me in my style. But if you are interested in this prompt, let me know in the comments below, and subscribe to this channel so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And the final thing I do with ChatGPT, which is so important, is to make your videos so unique and not mainstream and make ChatGPT more human than before. It's freestyle. I love giving ChatGPT examples from my past videos that perform well on my channel or for other channels just to give it some context and help guide it in the direction of video ideas that are already resonating with my audience. But sometimes we just need to go out of the box, made element of surprise. But unfortunately, if I ask ChatGPT basic questions, it gives me basic answers that I don't really like. When I tried to ask it to give me creative video ideas for a cooking YouTube channel, it gave me the usual stuff like cooking for beginners, kitchen hacks and tips, and cooking challenge videos. That's just too mainstream. So instead, I make highly detailed requests like this. Give me 10 video ideas for a cooking YouTube channel about homemade recipes that would invoke the feeling of curiosity. Each title should be under 70 characters. And you know what? That's going to make ChatGPT give me so much better list. 
From scratch, recreating your favorite store-bought snacks. One Pot Wonders. Easy, delicious meals with minimal cleanup. Or this one, my favorite, Leftover Magic. Creative recipes to use up your scraps. You can reverse engineer any of these videos into your absolute version, and I can already imagine the video title and thumbnail that would go out with those ideas. And once you make your perfect video idea, here's a list of niches I think are the best you can choose in 2023. See you in other videos. Best of luck to you and your YouTube journey with ChatGPT.